Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 23rd March 2023, the Ministry of Defense had signed two separate contracts with BEL at a cost of Rs 3,700 crore to enhance the operational capabilities of Indian Air Force. The first contract worth Rs 2,800 crore pertains to supply of medium power radars MPR Arudra for Indian Air Force. The second contract at an overall cost of approximately 950 crore is regarding 129 Dhuti DR118 radar warning receiver. Both the projects are under by Indian IDDM category. Talking about the MPR Arudra, which is a medium power radar has been indigenously designed and developed by DRDO and will be manufactured by BEL. Its successful trials have already been conducted by Indian Air Force. It is a four-dimensional multifunctional phased array radar with electronic steering in both azimuth and elevation for surveillance, detection and tracking of aerial targets. The system will have target identification based on interrogation from co-located identification friend or foe system. The system has an instrumented range of 400 kilometers and is able to detect two square meter RCS target as far as 300 kilometer in range with altitude coverage from 100 meters to 30 kilometers. The radar operates in steering or rotation mode. In rotation mode, the antenna rotates at 7.5 to 15 rpm with surveillance coverage of 360 degree in azimuth and 30 degree in elevation. In a steering mode of operation, the antenna steers in a specified azimuth with surveillance coverage of plus minus 60 degree in azimuth and 30 degree in elevation. This radar is based on solid state active aperture phased array with digital beam forming. It is best suited for mountainous region but can also be deployed on warships. Now the next important component is Dhruti Digital Radar Warning Receiver also known as DR118. It is a new generation radar warning receiver designed and developed for installation on any fighter, jet, transport aircraft or helicopters. It intercepts and identifies airborne, shipborne and ground-based acquisition, target tracking and missile guidance radars up to the J-band frequencies. The identified emitters or radars are indicated to the aircrew by displaying corresponding sets of symbol on the corresponding multifunctional display in the cockpit. A synthesized audio warning is also provided to the aircrew at the birth of each emitter. Dhruti is a state-of-art six-channel digital RWR that not only offers a wide dynamic range and large bandwidth of detection but also offers good sensitivity, selectivity and wide instantaneous bandwidth. It is a multi-bit digital RWR and can intercept a wide range of bandwidths and track emitters in real time. The six RWR can provide coverage of 360 degrees. Now back in August 2021, it was reported that Indian Air Force is going ahead with Rs 1000 crore project for the upgrade of RWR fleet of 125 Su-30 MKIs. It is however not clear as how many Su-30 MKI have been upgraded with Dhruti till date. However, we have been seeing it integrated with most of the Su-30 MKIs. It appears that Indian Air Force is upgrading its entire fleet of Su-30 MKI with the latest digital radar warning receiver. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.